Hello. Okay, I know I haven't posted a video in a while. Um, I actually have been trying for the past, like, three days to film a makeup tutorial. And everything that could go wrong goes wrong. First video, it the sound didn't sync up. It's like, okay, I have to re-edit it. Take all the sound out. That's fine. It'll be shorter. Then the editing program decided to be <sighs> difficult. Said yours it's not cooperating and then it wouldn't show the video and yeah, so I was like, okay, I'll film another one. Batteries died. And uh it took literally all day to film to charge my batteries so I could film and then I was gonna do it today and in the middle of doing my makeup I was like oh whatever I completely forgot about the camera whatever but anyways so I wanted to do a video talking about random things um, life updates stuff like that so most of you know that I've been going through some mental problems and whatnot but um, for the most part, I have my medications under control, except for a few things. Um, I, for my mental problems, my medication's getting under control. I got one couple more things that I need to do. I gotta make an appointment still and talk about the sleeping one because it might be causing me to um, eat more. <laughs> but, uh, the other thing, the physical thing with my health, is um, my I, I have PCOS and endometriosis, so I, I usually take birth control to keep them under control. When I first started my medication for my mental problems, it canceled out the birth control. So in turn, my PCOS raged. I have gained between, it's difficult for me to say, since August of last year to now, I have gained 95 pounds. I, <laughs> I am trying, and that is with including dieting and exercise, I was doing less most combat and everything like that until I hurt my knee. Then I had to take a break, but I'm going to get back into it. And I also got Pio, so I'm going to start doing that along with less mills. So hopefully I can get that under control. Um, I really want to lose weight. And I'm seeing a new gynecologist to try and get things figured out. Um, and it's a female this time. I've, I've had a male for years and whatever. I just didn't... I'm one of those people who can't... Who don't change things much. And if I don't see the need to, I won't. But, um... He kind of gave, gave me... I got tired of being treated like all of it this the PCOS and the endometriosis everything was my fault he I won't I won't like he fat shamed me he would sit there and like emphasize you don't need to eat that much you need to work out more than what you eat and he would do stuff like that like I didn't understand the concept of losing weight when I've been fat shamed since I was little and I'm not kidding. <laughs> I've been fat shamed by more doctors than I can count. And if I wasn't fat shamed, I was being accused of being a drug addict. And it, it's aggravating. It's discouraging to go to the doctor because of that. 
when I'm at, when I don't sit there and ask for pills, I ask for an answer. I'm like, I don't give two fucks about the pills. I want to know why this shit is happening. And uh, more often than not, they're like, I'm not going to prescribe you anything. I'm like, I don't care. <sighs> but yeah. Anyways, um, this new doctor, she's sweet. She's nice. She actually listened to me and she actually explained more in depth about what endometriosis is and PCOS to the point where I understand it 10 times better than when he described it because he barely did anything. And um, so I've been taking off the birth control completely and she's starting from ground zero and we're checking everything from the basics to see why I'm gaining so much weight so fast. So, um, she's going to have me go in for an ultrasound. I'm going in on the 27th for the ultrasound for to uh, see if there's any cysts on my ovaries or anything like that for PCOS. And, uh, sorry. <laughs> I get pretty choked up when I uh, talk about how doctors treat me because it's an emotional thing. It's difficult for me to get answers. It's all, yeah, always has been. When you're overweight, people do not. I'm not saying all doctors. Most doctors, they see your weight and not you. They assume you're the problem and there's nothing else that can cause it. is aggravating <laughs> but um I know the past two weeks my eating habits haven't been very good but uh that's because I've been getting depressed due to everything due to the fact that I am gaining weight and I can't stop it so until I can figure out how to get this under control I know I'm gonna gain weight um, my endometriosis is acting up, I've been cramping, I've been hurting, but I don't care. I'd rather deal with pain than gain weight. I know that's sad, but it's true. Um, I mean, I bought a beautiful black dress for Thanksgiving and Christmas, and then I skyrocketed in weight and I couldn't even wear it for the holidays. really sad it really bummed me out so they're sitting in my drawer because <laughs> I'm not 180 pounds anymore <laughs> um, but uh, uh, hopefully in about four or five weeks I'll find out why I'm gaining weight I just hope I don't become 300 pounds by then due to the fact of my PCOS Um, I'm trying to be more active. I'm trying to do my makeup more often. Um, I'm hoping this syncs up. The video better sync up with me <laughs> on the vocals. <laughs> um, I want to do cooking videos and I want to do some makeup stuff. I want to do stuff about me. I want to do little, um, I want to do little videos of basically me sitting down with like a cup of co hot coffee or hot chocolate and just talk, answer questions if anybody has any, give, give um, any information, any, just talk basically, basically have like a coffee break or a cocoa break or you can call it cocoa time or whatever. I mean, if anything, maybe I can read some kids' books and uh, call it Cocoa Time and books with some books and stuff. I think that might be fun. Um, so, sorry if this video is a little rambly. Um, just let me know if you want to see anything for anybody who actually watches my videos. 
because I know it's only like a couple friends and family members who watch my videos. But it, it, it'd be nice to actually be told that people want to see me. I mean, if you're not being told that they want to see this content or see me post anything, that it's it gets very hard for me to get the motivation to do it, if that makes sense. I just want to know at least one person really enjoys me making a video. And if it'll be enjoyable for me to do anything on camera for anybody. So if you have any ideas or thoughts, just let me know. Um, so that's my plan with my videos. Um, hopefully I can get some, video some videos made for cooking. Since I am gluten free and egg free, I have to be, and I don't do it just because it's a trend. I, it's I started doing gluten free egg free before it was even a trend. I was having so many stomach problems, and I've had tons of stomach problems with, since I was little. And I didn't realize until after I did this that the all the foods I loved were foods that were gluten free. <laughs> So, I've actually loved gluten-free foods, because it's not be for diet or anything like that, because you can still gain weight, no matter what diet you're on, you can still gain weight. Uh, and I want to be gluten-free if, if I didn't have the stomach problems. And the one time I accidentally did get gluten at a restaurant that was supposed to give me gluten-free, I was in so much fucking pain, it's not even funny. I was stuck on the toilet. I wanted to throw up. I was it was like having a hangover and food poisoning all at the same time. And I couldn't get off the toilet to the point where I was bleeding out of my rear end. I was bleeding. And I went to the Valley Hospital. They gave me some Dilaudid and sent me home and told me I wasn't even trying to help them find the answers. And I was like, <laughs> they treated me like I was just a waste of time there. I, I didn't appreciate it. And I wasn't able to eat solid food for over a month. It was about a good six weeks before I uh, could eat anything solid. So, yeah, um, this gluten-free thing's not, uh, sorry about that sound, it was the family cabinet. It's n the gluten-free thing's not because it's bad or a trend or anything. I, I seriously do get sick. And um, the egg, I got, I've gotten egg-free due to migraines. I've noticed my migraines cut in by three quarters, I don't, three quarters of the way. I only get a migraines about a quarter of the time now. And it's nice. <laughs> it's so nice not getting migraines, so. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to give an update on my health and everything that's going on. And um, if you want to see anything or whatnot, let me know. I hope everybody has a good day. And um, I love you all. Bye.